Okay, here we go. So, the Metcon today was um, 40 double unders, 10 deadlifts at 205 pounds, and 5 ring muscle ups, and it was a 12 minute AMRAP. Um, pretty happy with how this went. Um, pretty beat up from yesterday. I didn't do any of my normal training yesterday, but my gym did Calsu. Um, for those of you that don't know, that is 100 thrusters at 135 pounds, and you do 5 burpees on the minute. Um, so, I kind of wanted to do that with a class and, you know, um, be part of the community. And it was a real bitch of a workout, but it, it was fun. So, I decided it'd be fun to do that um, and get a time for that because I'd never done it before. Um, so, pretty beat up from that. My goal for this workout going into it, I was going to be pretty content with five rounds, um, kind of was shooting for six and then would have been very happy with seven. Um, six rounds puts me on, on like starting around on the two minutes. Um, ideally going into it, I wanted to do all of my ring muscle ups unbroken, um, quickly kind of readjusted that strategy. In the second round I did um, four and then one, which is kind of a waste, but I, I just don't like sneaking reps out, especially early on in the workout. Um, if it had been like the last round, I would have tried to like kind of go for broke on it, but you know, so early on, it's not worth it doing a rep that's close to failing and could possibly fail. Um, so I did four and one in the second round here. And then from then on, I reevaluated and went, uh, three reps and then two reps. Uh, so kind of broke them down the middle. Ring muscle ups haven't been feeling very good recently. Um, strict ring muscle ups have felt fine, but my kipping ring muscle ups for some reason the rhythm's just been weird. Um, I feel like I just don't pull myself into the rings the right way, and I can't like find a good rhythm. I'm not sure if that's because I've been doing most of my kipping muscle ups when I'm under fatigue during a metcon, but um, not really sure. Pretty much went unbroken on the double unders, went unbroken on um, the deadlifts as well. So, yeah, we'll finish watching this and then um, we've got some deadlifts, like heavy deadlifts, some push press, and then I did some more monostructural stuff. Pretty much do monostructural work every day. Um, and so we'll kind of regroup there. Um, here I'm just watching the watching the clock and making sure that I'm on time so that I can, I think after the first round I decided six would be manageable, um, six rounds would be manageable. And so kind of watching the clock and making sure that I'm on pace with that, but not going, going out too hot or falling too far behind.
So one thing that I did realize um, upon watching this back, and again, this kind of goes back to what I was talking about in one of the previous videos with it being training and not um, competition, is like I get pretty sweaty when I work out, and usually during competition I would put like wristbands on or something, like the um, uh, like sweatbands around my wrist to keep my hands dry. Um, here when I jump up, I think some of the sweat had dripped into my hands. <clears throat> You got all over the rings, so it'll see me kind of stop and grab um, my shirt to like wipe the rings off, um, which was a big waste of time. Probably could have gotten through another set of double unders had I not done that. Um, but like, and it's kind of a shame to watch, but also it was like the rings were really slippery. It's training, it's not competition. I'm not. There's no one I'm racing right now, um, and it didn't seem worth it to kind of have like these sketchy muscle ups on these like wet rings um, and like chance hurting myself. So, so yeah, like kind of like dry them off, and then I try and make an effort to do this one. And then I'm just like, you know what? Screw it. Like it'll dry by the time I get back to it. Um, I'll like keep the shirt around so that if I need to, I can wipe my hands back down. But like. You know, come competition, I would be wearing, like, wrist wraps or something that would keep my hands drier, um, and it probably wouldn't be an issue. Um, and, you know, like, if it was the Open, then I would probably, or, like, a competition, I would probably chance, like, doing sketchy muscle-ups on wet rings. Um, but today, I'm not, I wasn't, I didn't have anything to prove to anybody, so, um, just keeping it, keeping it easy, or not easy, but, you know, keeping it light and keeping it relaxed so that I'm not, like, hurting myself now so I can't compete when the time comes to compete. So here we are coming into the last set of muscle-ups. Um, I think I have like 40 seconds left, so I was like, you just go on the 
on the 20 seconds. Should be good. Should sneak him in. I think I sneak him in right in time. Um, I think compared to my last muscle up workout, probably a little bit better about keeping the hands off of the knees. Um, reading a study, when you put your hands on your knees or your you know arms on your knees or whatever, um, it does engage certain muscles that like let you get more oxygen into your lungs or just like take a bigger breath. Um, so there is some scientific benefit to it, but I think there's more to be said for just like if if you're not hunched over, you're like up looking around, and if you're looking around, you can see the clock, you can see time is ticking away, you can see the implement that you need to move back to, um, and I think it helps you move faster if you kind of stay up and it helps you chip away at it a little bit better. So um, usually for deadlifts, try not to use straps, but um, I'm so I was so gassed from Kalsu. I was tired, went for it, used the straps. Um, it's pretty aggressive weights for me for my deadlift. Uh, this is 10 reps at 355 pounds. My one rep max is. 445 or 450 um, and so pretty pretty brutal um, I texted Matt yesterday I was originally gonna do this yesterday but I decided to do Kalsu instead um, and then just ended up you know calling it after Kalsu um, I, I was like I don't think I can go unbroken he said you know try try your best and then go cut to singles or doubles or whatever um just get it done in a shortish amount of time to try and make it a set um so 355 worked was able to go unbroken um probably could have done it strapless at 355 355 actually moved pretty well um it wasn't the biggest struggle i've had um i'm not sure i think this is my 425 um single here yeah, so I was supposed to hit six in a row at 4.25. I hit one, I just, you can see I try and pull it again. I'm like, nope, uh, that's good. I'm going to do singles. Um, I hit, before this, it was supposed to be 10, 8, 6, and the 8 was at uh, 3.90, I think. I um, was able to do 4 at 3.90, and then I did a quick double immediately after. Um, that was my first... Uh, one at 425 that you just saw. This will be my third or my fourth, I think. And then I'm not sure if this one's a successful one. I do fail a rep. So, okay. So that's my failed rep. I hit four. Um, I'm not sure there's anything else. That was some push press. So yeah, I was able to hit four. Um, Missed the this fifth one here and then decided to call it again. I was so <clears throat> so gassed after Kalsu. Legs were shot. Um <clears throat> and you know, I'm not again, I have nothing to prove. I'm not trying to hurt myself deadlifting four twenty five for some like Instagram views or something. It's like if it is working, it's working. If it's not, it's not. Um, you know, train under fatigue, I guess, so that you're ready for competition, but it's not competition today. Not anyway, anything to prove. So here we go. Just these are just three push press. The like it's like the top set of some of the push press I was doing earlier. Um, this was easy, um, fairly light compared to my one rep max. And I think that Matt has these programs so that I move well for them. Um, not actually a whole lot. I mean, I'm sure I'm gaining strength, but the other day that I do push press, I go a lot heavier and there's a lot more volume. Um, and so usually when I do these days where I deadlift really heavy, the push press seems to be a little bit lighter and I move the weight really well. Um, so, yeah. So end of the fourth episode of this thing that I'm doing, I'm probably going to continue to record some stuff and upload it. Um, I don't think anyone's actually watching this, which is fine. It's more for myself, so if you are watching, that great. But um, yeah, this is good training archive, I guess, and good to look back and see um, improvement, and you know, have have metcons to look back on and stuff, and see if I've been getting better. So yeah.